Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yuleno TV. I hope you well from wherever you're watching this channel. Now, John Buddy delivered a very, very interesting statement regarding better days when it comes to taxations. What John Buddy delivered is about the 2025 finance bill. It so just gave us some brief overview of how the 2025 finance bill is going to look like. But you see, many Kenyans have reacted to this statement from John Buddy differently. Some are in support. Some are looking at what John Buddy said as a political statement or rather a way of trying to appease the people uh, so that people don't wreak more havoc on the Kenya Kwanzaa or rather the broad-based government. So I want to take you through this statement, a brief statement of what John Buddy said before you make any reaction to this. So this is what he said. Government to reduce taxes in the medium term. Treasury CS says VAT will drop from 16% to 14% and corporate tax from 30% to 25%. Now this is good news because first the VAT is going to drop from 16 to 14%. The corporate tax is going to drop from 30% to 25%. So the fact that the corporate tax is going to drop, this will be to make sure that investors come on board. And the fact that VAT will drop from 16% to 14%, this is going to make sure that commodities, the prices of commodities go down a bit. But just like I said, Kenyans are not buying this story. So I want us to go extensively into a statement here that has been shared uh, about a very very interested kenya who seems to be seeing this a uh, move as a political move but the big question ladies and gentlemen is what do people want cs john buddy to do because personally this is a good news but people are looking at it politically if john buddy had said we want to revisit finance bill 2024 people would have been having people would have been up in arms against john buddy so i want us to go extensively, extensively into a statement that uh, a kenyan has issued here regarding this uh, latest development from this treasury cs but before you get there please like this video it's so important if you like this video i'm so grateful for everyone who has been liking our videos i don't take that for granted subscribe to our channel if you've not subscribed before and to existing subscribers thank you so much for your support now john buddy according to me has done uh, is doing a brilliant job if this is what he's working on then I personally i would say this is good we are not thinking of increasing tax rates we are going to reduce vat in the medium term from 16 percent to about 14 percent we want to reduce other taxes including corporation tax or corporate tax to from 30 to 25 percent and even pay as you earn this, are, this is the strategy. The thinking of the Treasury is not to increase the tax rate, it's to reduce it. For that to happen, we must, there, is, there are conditions we have, sub, we have imposed on ourselves, not by anybody else. The conditions is make tax collection efficient, make tax laws simple, make tax collection efficient, and efficiency in the use of resources. First, let me tell, take you to, to this reaction from someone by the name the republic he said this person said dear kenyans do not ever fall for such cheap tricks as this one this is a strategy for 2027 which is three years away we are aware that they are planning to entice kenyans with lies and propaganda that they will reduce taxes in 2027 if you fall for such a trick then there is no difference between you and those being conned by pyramid schemes sakayo knows he has pushed kenyans to the wall he also knows that he can lie to them and just like 2022 he still thinks kenyans will be clueless enough to be cheated i'm twisted and cajoled into supporting his failed and incompetent regime do not be cheated these people have failed to manage the economy and steer the country the only viable outcome in 2027 is rejection don't listen to any news stories or tricks so this is what is being said by the republic who shared the initial statement I, I i read about the vat reduction of vat and reduction of corporate tax i understand even the pay as you earn is going to reduce well these are good news if at all this is what john bad is going to do but let's let's just 
flip this coin a bit the other side what if john bad is playing politics and uh, of course because we know previously ruto has been maintaining that he cannot preside over a broke country a country where taxes are constantly being reduced he can't preside over that that's why when he met uh, students from us sometimes back ago uh, the corridors of state house he told them that uh, he will never preside over a broke country and when confronted further by the way he promised to raise taxes to around 21 to 22 that is a statement that uh, william ruto unleashed back then ladies and gentlemen tighten up your belt i am not going to preside over a bankrupt country i am not going to preside over a country that is in debt distress so i want to offer a reaction to this statement coming from someone by the name the republic do you agree with the republic co uh, concept or the point that body is playing politics is body playing politics really is that what you also observing because personally i'm looking at this matter from a different angle well if you believe that bad is playing politics you can just go below there on the comment section and offer a reaction but let's just take for example the corporate taxes reduced because you remember like, there's a time last year and uh, the other first year when ruto introduced more taxes most invest investors ran away to uh, tanzania that's, that's why you find that mama sulu last year uh, weighed in on this matter and said that because of what is going on in our neighbor's country we have gotten more investors you see and also if you remember the statement during the unveiling of raila molodinga's uc bid at state house where there were east african heads of state and representatives of other heads of state who could not attend and museveni was there museveni also pointed at this issue of corporate taxes whereby the fact that the corporate taxes are more it means business is not easy it's not easy to trade with kenya and that explains why you find that even during the oil uh, uh, the fight between oil procurement whereby kenya had imposed more taxes and made it expensive for for, uh, uh, for uh, uganda to get oil through kenya and a move that saw uganda almost strike a deal with tanzania you know but you saw what happened later on later on raila ruto was spotted in in uganda and then the deal was again renegotiated so these are some of the things which happened so on to this john buddy statement john buddy is being uh spot on here in what he wants to do and i think john buddy is trying to do things autonomously without being in being coerced you know of course i believe he's uh, engaging the president on these issues but john buddy uh, basically according to what moses kuria said i think he chooses to operate independently and this statement that taxes are going to be reduced or to drop from 16 percent to 14 percent corporate tax 35 percent to 25 percent this is good news ladies and gentlemen personally i think this is good news so just go below in your comment section you can offer reaction on this latest development do you support john buddy or do you think john buddy is being is playing politics is that the case just go below in your comment section and you can offer reaction on that so perhaps if you watch this video and not subscribe take one second and subscribe like this video until you catch up again stay safe and stay blessed